Hey, second grade boys and girls, Ms. Nelson here with your phonics lesson for today. And we're going to learn about word parts that we can add at the beginning of a word. So let's look at the picture of the milk jug. Read the word right here with me. This word right here that I'm circling around. Ready? Cap. When you cap a milk jug or a water bottle, how do you do it? right? You put it on top. You put the top on it, right? Cap is our base word. Sometimes we call that a root word. A base word is a word that does not have any endings or other word parts added to it. So now I'm going to take this word tile right here and I'm going to move it over here next to our base word cap. And our new word is uncap. Read the word with me. Uncap. Now let's count the syllables. Ready? Uncap. Did you hear two syllables? The vowel in un is closed by a consonant. So it has our short vowel sound. Un is a part of a word called a prefix. A prefix is a syllable added to the beginning of a base word and it changes its meaning. The prefix un means not or opposite of. So when I uncap a jug or a bottle, I do the opposite of cap and I take the cap off, okay? Now, let's move this one over, okay? All right, this word is now recap. Read the word with me, recap. How many syllables did you hear? Two, awesome job. The vowel in re is not closed by a consonant, so it is an open syllable and has the long vowel sound. The prefix re means again. So if I recap a jug or a bottle, I cap it again, putting the cap back on. So uncap is to take it off, and to recap is to put it on again. When you see longer words that you do not recognize, try covering up prefixes or word endings to see if you can read the base word. And this will help you figure out our longer words. All right, boys and girls, we are going to read each line one at a time together and then talk about the words. Are you ready? Let's go. Chip, which, unlike, ditch, refill, Phone. Which of our words have prefixes? That's right. Unlike and re, oops, refill. Awesome. Let's read the words again together. Chip, which, unlike, ditch, refill, phone. Which of our words have our diagraph. You guys remember our diagraphs from our other lesson? That's right. Chip, witch, ditch, phone. Awesome work. Let's try line two. Dash, rethink, redo, undo, those, unbend. Which words have prefixes? If you said rethink, redo, undo, and unbend, you're right. What is the base word in this word, rethink? Think, awesome work. All right, now let's read the words in line two a little bit faster. Dash, rethink redo, undo, those, unbend. Let's do lines three, 
and four. You ready? Mice, pretzel, scale, price, spine, cling. Line four, lace, helmet, wink, place, sting, plank. Awesome job. All right, let's look at line five. These are going to be some challenging words, okay? So let's see. We've got g, a, sh, gash, b, a, ch, botch, u, a, ch, latch, s, u, a, sh, slash, h, i, ch, hitch, and g, r, a, f, graph. You ready to read them a little bit faster? Gash, botch, latch, slash, hitch, graph. Awesome work reading superstar second graders. All right, now it's time to blend and read some sentences together. Let's start with line six. Mrs. Mouse shall go to the shop. Let's read it a little bit faster. Mrs. Mouse shall go to the shop. Awesome. Now let's read line seven. The mice rush to get to the shop. One more time. The mice rush to get to the shop. And finally, line eight. The mice help the white cat. Last time. The mice help the white cat. Great job, second grade. All right, boys and girls, we're going to practice reading some words with our prefixes. Remember, the prefix un means not or opposite of, and the prefix re means again. Ready? Let's do it. Remake. Remake. Unmade. Unmade. Un safe unsafe refresh refresh all right let's look at the last line rename rename reshape reshape unwell unwell and the last one unplug unplug you guys did an amazing job with our prefixes today. I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.